Hello, here's a quick little video to give you just a bit of basic terminology about what the specific parts of uh, Sirenscape are and how we think about them in terms of sound design. Plus, at the end will be an explanation of how to make the basic sort of different kinds of sound elements and layers that people think about when they build sound. And I'll give you a little in-depth view on each of those. So starting off, the very, very basics. A sound set is the number one thing we talk about in Sirenscape. On the left hand side here is a list of sound sets. A sound set is generally a single location, a single monster, a single sort of uh, situation or location in, in an adventure or a single town in a country or a, a single type of environment. And in it, are all the bits you need to create the sounds in that environment or that place. This sound set we're going to look at is the Yawning Portal from the Dungeons & Dragons world. Once we go in here, it's the second column in the app, which is hideable in the Fantasy Player. And in the online player, it, uh, th these, this column appears once you go into a sound set by clicking it. This row here is called the Moods. The moods are the different situations in that location, or the different phases of the battle and the encounter, or the different locations in that city. And in here we have raucous drinking, which is one kind of mood in the Yawning Portal where people are raucously drinking. There's eating quietly, which is another type of way the Yawning Portal can be. There's a brawl that happens, and there's a troll battle that happens in a Yawning Portal. All these moods happen in this sound set. What a mood does is starts or stops elements and sets them to a certain value so you can see when i hit eating quietly some elements stop some elements start and the volume changes for those elements that's what a mood does when i hit the brawl you see some elements start and the volume set themselves <laughs> a mood can even start a one shot which is a single play element fantastic now let's look at the different sorts of things an element can be. Uh, the, the different sorts of layers of sound design that people think about are music, randomized events, long looping sort of generic kind of fairly uniform sounds, which we'll call loops in this case, and user trigger rule sounds. And I'm going to show you about those four different types of elements. Number one, music. Music tends to be songs that are not a part of the scene non-diegetic the way we build these is by selecting music which hides our 3d positioning and does a few other secret things in a music tracks in a music elements playlist are various different tracks of music with their enable 3d positioning button unchecked so that this track plays in full stereo in the left and right speakers of the surround system. If this button is not checked, then the music is positioned in the sound design and will have a flatter effect and will have potentially the reverb of that environment applied to it. That's how you make a music element. Another sort of element is a loop element. We have long tracks here, each a minute long of the Wizards of the Coast employees being raucous in their tavern. That's my own dog. <laughs> we'll pretend that's a random element. These, this sort of element has a crossfade. So the sample doesn't need to fade in or anything. It's just a sudden start of people being raucous and a sudden stop. What the crossfade here, over the duration of 10 seconds here set, is fades in the beginning of the sample over 10 seconds and when it gets to the end of the sample it will fade out that sample and gradually fade in the next you can have what just one sample here fading in and out with itself which is quite common with something like a wind common with something like a wind sound or we can have multiple samples which are cross fading to create even more random effect <laughs> thank you dog Oh, do, I have, do I have a dog element here? I think I... Maybe not in, the, not in the yawning portal. Okay, so that's like a long loop sound. The next is a randomized sound. Okay, here we go. Let's start this one. This one is made of individual samples which are played every now and then in different locations and separated, not crossfade. You see the delay between samples is here is set to 10 to 20 seconds. 
Fantastic. And I've positioned these sounds uh, everywhere in the surround spectrum and at a random, a random set of distances. So here comes another one. And that's a randomized element. And the last sort of, last sort of uh, sample, a last sort of element we have, is a is a user triggerable one, a so-called one shot by us. This one has no timing parameters. It still has its positioning parameters and um, and its distance and its direction and those things. But when I want it to go, I hit trigger, and that troll will roar, or the dog will wolf if it's a dog wolf one shot. And you can spam it and set lots of them off at once. Okay, there's a bit of uh, terminology which I thought I may have missed from some of the other videos in case you are uh, relatively unfamiliar with Sirenscape and starting with the online player, that stuff will help. Right, on with the rest of the tutorial videos. <laughs> and I'll go and give my dog a bone. <laughs>